Hello and welcome to the Saturday Wrap, the Saturday Wrap for Saturday the 14th of November 2020. A slightly satirical look back on my week. I'm going to try and avoid mentioning COVID, although apparently, take this with a pinch of salt, there is a vaccine which could be, notice the weasel words, up to 90% effective. The pubs reopened this week as we came out of the fire break. So it was back in the tumble on Monday. What else? Thursday, Spoons announced Christmas lunches. I had a curry. Um, I tea. Apple Tuesday, the Apple Silicone One More Thing event. Hardware, Big Sur. Something else. Windows 20H2, hardly anything to it, to be perfectly honest. Uh, right, um, Google Authenticator, now working again. 5K Karma, hmm, cancelled Beano's. Beano plans falling through, and you'll leave. Anyway, so, what is the word or phrase of the week? Right, well, uh, would it be Apple, Apple Silicone? Not really. I think the word or phrase of the week came in on Friday and today, Saturday, if you believe that, and the word is Beano. My June leave in November. Who'd have thought? Okay. And it's Monday, Monday the 9th of November, 2020. And someone said, I wear different clothes. Uh, this is a mode Alambic t-shirt. And if you know your beers and you've been to Brussels, you know there's two. I think it says there, it does actually. So, what happened over the weekend? Well, quite a lot actually. And I'm just not talking about the United States of America. I don't intend to mention much about those. It's politics. People get annoyed and het up over politics. And we in the UK have enough problems with our own politics. And I've missed Boris's speech tonight, probably about vaccines and don't panic and such like. Anyway, the first thing was um, I had a letter from my credit card company. I do get cash back from it. It was one of the few that gives you money back. But they said because of reasons, lots of reasons, um, stopping at the beginning of December. So I have a new credit card, which gives me club card points. You can probably guess who it is. Not a great deal, um, but better than nothing. I think that's the summation of 2020. Things that we have got are better than nothing, and little things matter. Anyway, so that's up and working. I have tested it in the Tumble Inn today. There are big things that have happened today, and it works. Um, it's now part of Apple Pay as well. Anyway, so the weekend, although it was grey, well, especially on Saturday, it was quite mild, so I mowed the lawn and then cut back all the strawberry plants and raked up a lot of the leaves. And I'm hoping it will be the last of the year where I need to mow the lawn, although I did feed it and it has rained since then. And it is still quite mild, so it'll probably grow. And the garden itself, the garden needs digging. What can you do? Anyway, so as I said, not much politics. Um, Vice President Biden is now president-elect. And that's all I'm going to say. Um, Sunday morning, talking about Twitter, um, I had a quick search around for anything about Google Authenticator. Um, you know that I didn't want to uninstall it because I would lose all my 2FA data. But there was someone on there from London who said, use the offload facility to uninstall it because that has an option to keep all your data. And then reload it and it's fine. And I read the thread and everyone said, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And I did it and it's fine. 
Now the big thing about this is I had two tweets from Apple. I had absolutely nothing from either Google support or Google UK. Uh, as an ex a Google Reader user and a Google Plus user, I think that says a lot about their level of support. Up your game. Especially as we're all stuck at home, or most of us are stuck at home, and we're using websites and we need to be secure, so we need those two FA codes. Or three I might be coming your way. Anyway, as I said, it's Monday. Tomorrow night, six o'clock, uh, Greenwich Mean Time, Zulu Time, Apple's one more thing announcement. So we are going to get Apple Silicon Max. Silicon, actually, silicon is something completely different. Um, and I don't know how many we're going to get. The word is three. We'll probably have an announcement about Big Sur, both for Intel and Apple Silicon. Silicon. And I'm hoping for a new Apple TV. We might get Apple AirTags, we might get headphones. I don't know. But since it's pre-recorded, it's an hour, it's all good fun. And the tech press will go crazy. And it'll be the third one this autumn. Okay, the last thing. Um, at one minute past midnight this morning, the fire break ended. And the last lot of figures were, and I haven't seen today's, but they were sta stabilizing and going down slightly. And so they should. We have been locked down for long enough. Anyway, the thing for me was a lone drinker in Weatherspoons. Do I need to make an appointment? Do I need to ring in advance? Um, what about ID? What about software and all that? So, long story short, Weatherspoons website, looked up the tumble, uh, it says we don't make appointments. So turned up there, um, the doors were shut, um, but I went in. Uh, all the QR codes, the NHS one and their own track and trace had gone and they're now paper based, probably because it's safer. Um, I had to provide something with my name on um, that matched the name I gave them. And the credit card was good enough. And you have to wear the mask. And once the tables were full, you're done. You can't come in. So I went to my table. Um, I was given the choice. Uh, one that could see the TV. And uh, I started ordering beer. I've got to be honest. I mean, I've not thought that much of Doombar in the past. But it's quite malty. And it's quite nice. And um, Reese, I think it is who orders the beers, uh, said there was a beer on called Ossibian, which I think is Salopium from Shrewsbury. I could be wrong, but anyway, it wasn't on the app, and I only had an hour there for lunch. And he said, well, give me two quid and I'll bring it over to you. And I would have been asleep. Although that wouldn't have been a bad thing. And the final thing is max of three hours in spoons. I think other pubs are two hours, um, but um, a vague guessing said last Friday, that's a rule of thumb and it isn't the law. A lot of this isn't the law, you know. A lot of this is guidelines. And while I'm at it, um, Cardiff today, especially pre-mark, absolutely crazy, packed out. Um, I think social distancing went to the wall. Someone said last week, and I know not about these things, there's probably going to be another lockdown. It's probably going to be before Christmas. So everyone is going to be doing their Christmas shopping this week. And Cardiff and maybe a little bit of Newport and Cumbran will be rammed. And so they were on the Wales Online website. Packed. So that's the weekend and that's Monday. So, moving on to Wednesday, Wednesday 11th of November, Armistice Day. Um, it's 1727 hours, uh, Greenwich Mean Time. It's supposed to have been raining today. Um, it has a little bit, but we're supposed to have it 
really hammering down. I suppose that's going to come once it's dark. Four o'clock in work today, it was really dark. And coming home, dark, dark, dark. What am I trying to say? Winter? Although it's still quite mild, which I'm not going to knock. Anyway, I didn't mention it on Monday, uh, but Pfizer and another organisation have come out with a vaccine for COVID-19. Two-parter, and they say 90% effective. Hasn't been formally approved yet, um, but the NHS, the National Health Service, uh, they have been put on standby to start giving it out to uh, various people uh, based on different criteria, based on different criteria in Wales as opposed to England and probably Scotland as well from the 1st of December. Apparently the UK has secured 40 million doses, which is basically two-thirds of the population. We shall see how this goes. 90% um, effective sounds fairly effective. Um, I am not relying on it or counting my blessings or thinking it's over yet. I think we have to be very careful. Very, very careful. Um, still in testing. This is the thing. And it needs to be stored at minus 70 degrees Celsius. So shares in refrigeration companies have shot through the roof. Mind you, everyone else's shares have shot through the roof because everyone is just jumping on the bandwagon and saying, oh, it's all over. We'll all have the jab. Everything will be fine. Can't quite see it myself. Um, and I think there's issues with the Chinese vaccine in Brazil at the moment. Um, I think we're in it for the long haul. Um, our figures in Wales are going down slightly, but the Kefili figures are still five times more than when we started on the 10th of September. Yeah, not exactly that good. Anyway, uh, last night was the Apple One More Thing announcement. So, what didn't we get? We didn't get those AirPads, or we didn't get um, a new Apple TV, which is a shame. Although there's nothing to stop it being announced in a press release just before Christmas. They've done that before. And no studio headphones either. Instead, Big Sur comes out tomorrow, which is the 12th. Um, and it comes out um, for um, Intel and Apple Silicon. And on the Apple Silicon front, um, a MacBook Air, a MacBook Pro 13-inch, and a Mac Mini. I have to say, they all look really good. Really, really good. I think the thing at the moment is, early days, first version, software support, although it's well supported by Apple software, not exactly all there for native apps from other providers. Um, there is a Rosetta 2, which is an emulator, which is supposed to work very well. However, I'm still on Mojave. Catalina isn't the best. Uh, there you go. Um, so, I was impressed. Um, but only 48 minutes? Could have had 12 minutes for other things in there as well. Do like these Apple events. Even if I don't buy their kit or can't afford to buy their kit. Um, actually, I'd like to buy everyone's kit, <coughs> which is just the way I sort of am. Oh, yeah, uh, Bragdy Tutlol Horny Goat um, Ale. Uh, my local, or fairly local brewery, uh, local to more to where I work. Anyway, had a, an email from Travel Lodge. I have a booking for them uh, the week after next. Basically said... Um, well, because it's in England and I'm not working and it's a leisure booking because I put that um, when I booked it, um, they have to cancel it. So I can either have all my money back or I can have a voucher for 125%. I'm being positive. So I went for the voucher for 125%. We shall see if that's the wise choice. Choice. Choice later on in the year. And anyway, um, one last thing. Um, Spoon's lunchtime. It's really good to be back in the pub. Um, hats off to all the staff there. 
they have a really hard job. There are some rather strange people in pubs. Uh, I believe it's known as the Great British and Great Welsh Public. I certainly can't please all of the people all of the time. However, popping over the pub for a pint of a lunchtime certainly improved my morale. And um, cheaper as well. So, there we go. That's Wednesday. I have Friday off. I'm looking forward to it. Well, I have a feeling I might be up early. There might be some emergency be knowing going on. So, um, that's Wednesday. Bye-bye. Switch off. So, this is the last part of the Saturday Wrap for Saturday the 14th of November 2020. And it's actually being recorded on Saturday the 14th of November 2020. That is, in this one, me wearing glasses, me drinking beer. Anyway, what else to add? Um, I've gone through 5k karma on Reddit. Now, if you don't know about Reddit, it's known as the front door of the internet, where people post and share stories. It can sometimes be a bit of a cesspit, or it can be a geek's delight. Anyway, when people like your posts, they give you karma. I've been doing it since, I don't know, 2012, and having practically nothing. And then this year, up to 5,000. Who'd have thought? Um, but I enjoy it, and I know it's sad, but there you go. What else? Um, kidney pouches for my Swedish M40 stove mess kit. You need something to carry it in. I thought they came singularly, but I had two together, which I suppose is quite correct, because um, they sit either side of your kidneys. And you've got two kidneys. Um, and on all my um, Windows machines now up to 20H2, um, which is the autumn update to 2040. No, 2004, which I hate with a passion because it's caused me so many issues. Whereas 20H2, more like just an update, went on, didn't change much, had me scared on one or two installs, but it's okay, I'm coping. And um, Thursday in Spoons, I was in work on Thursday, um, went to Spoons, the tumble in, and the Christmas menu was on. Unfortunately, it's still not the full festive lunch. We have turkey and stuffing and roast potatoes. It's more like, here's a festive burger with brie, um, and cranberry jelly. Like cranberry juice, not keen on cranberry. I can't even say it, cranberry jelly. Um, I was going to, at the beginning of the year, talk to Vicky, now departed, gone to West Wales, can't blame her, and suggest the post festive feast cold turkey, cold stuffing balls. Maybe a pickled onion, some onion rings, some coleslaw, and lots of chips. Because that's like. Boxing day for me. The turkey's gone cold and you need to eat it before it goes off. But I forgot and she's gone and um, it doesn't seem appropriate now. But there you go. Um, so that's on I think until just before Christmas. I, I might have something festive. Although I'm in work this week there was a big argument about whether you should use the word festive because of Christmas and all that sort of stuff and... Um, Festive Christmas. There you go. Anyway, I'm talking of work. Four o'clock in work. And it's now, well, especially this week with the weather we've been having, dark. I mean, it's been dark in the mornings for quite some time. But it's now dark in the office and it's dark going home. And it's going to be dark for quite some time. And it's only halfway halfway through November mm, whatever so anyway um yesterday I had a, 
well, I had leave. I've got leave at the moment, and I will have leave for quite some time. This is my June leave. And yesterday I should have been in Exeter, but that got refunded. And then next week I should have been in um, the joy that is Hereford and the Hereford Beer House, which I just had their fifth birthday party, which they forgot about. Um, <laughs> these things happen, you know. Um, and then I had a 125% refund. Um, so I thought, let's go to Newport. First of all, what time is the first bus coming? Two different timetables. One said 0640 hours, the other said 0649 hours. The bus came at 0645. Doesn't really help. Um, but there were lots of people on there. They were all wearing masks. Um, and you still can't go down Stow Hill. They're still renovating the church that caught fire. But here's the thing. Despite what Spoon's website says, the Queen's Hotel does not open at seven o'clock. It is actually a hotel, so it always did open at seven o'clock and the bar at eight. Um, but it opens at eight now, and I got in at 25 past seven. And Starbucks doesn't open till late. And Costa Coffee on the main street doesn't open till late. And I forgot about the Costa Coffee at the station, which opens at five, which probably opens at six now, but would have done for me. Oh. Um, I will remember that. But here's my tip of the day. Don't trust websites when they say at what time it will actually open. You need to really check. Yeah, and um, Spoons in Newport. Guest Ales. No, with Guest Ales. There was Ruddles and there was Abbott Ale and there was Doombar, but nothing else in both the Queen's Hotel and the John Wallace Linton. I would say if you're going into a pub and you want a pint of something wonderful, you're going to have to go for keg. And really the best choice is Punk IPA. Absolutely awesome. And another thing, apart from going to the Harbour Fish Bar and having a large tray of chips, which were awesome, I didn't pay for anything without using my phone, either online, Apple Pay, or NFC, Apple Pay. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that is the new normal. I don't want to use the word new normal, but there's a lot of new normal about. <sighs> and then coming home, uh, the bus driver, who seemed to be fairly new, Missed the turning into Bedwas and had to go at the bottom of the hill and then turn back up and saying, well, where do you want to get off? Well, you know, there were lots of buses <laughs> going wrong yesterday. So that's the, um, that's the Saturday wrap for Saturday the 14th. I'm on leave next week, so this thing might go all over the place. And let's be honest, the editing in this is just going to be pretty slapdash, so... Um, be gentle with your criticisms. Bye-bye.